introducing the newest phenom to the world of YouTube boxing. Mom, I think you need a new phone. He's a speaker of some sort. Um, I think he's all of that guy. Oh my god, he's my idol! He is Old Man Boxing! What's up, what's up, YouTube? Boy, I tell you, man. I look, I watch all, if, if the fight is on and I can see it, I'm going to watch it. You know what I'm saying? Even if they chumps, even if I think they chumps, you just never know. It, it's, and a, and a, a few times, like a lot of times, there's like a plot or a story behind it. And once I learn the story behind the fight, that right there, you know, lets me know, you know, it, it gives me a little bit more interest in the fight. If it's something that's like significant, like they got bad blood or something, you know, I I I, I don't mind that. But anyway, Amir Khan versus Samuel Vargas. <laughs> Yo, look here, man. Everything you suspected about Amir Khan Chin is is validated in that fight right there. First of all, Amir Khan, what you doing walking out the Nas, man? Don't hate me now. Everybody trying to walk out to some kind of rap song. You know what I'm saying? But uh, anyway, in the first round, you know, um, you, you can tell the difference between the speed of Khan versus the speed of Vargas. Vargas didn't have any speed. He was just looking to land one punch and, ru and, rough, and rough Khan up. Khan, Khan seemed like he was kind of game for it, but he, he, he was boxing. And um, Vargas looked a little stiff. You know what I'm saying? And he was getting caught. He was getting caught with the speed. You know, and... Let me tell y'all, Amir Khan seemed like he, he he lost a step in his speed. It's not like it once was. Excuse me. So, you know, for all you folks who said this, you hear them saying blistering speed, blistering speed. like, blistering? Where you get blistering from? He got hand speed, but it ain't nothing like what it used to be. You know what I'm saying? So, um, you know, I gave, of course, I gave Khan that round. Then the second round. Around 2.30, two, um, two, two minutes, 30 seconds left. Khan knocks down um, Vargas. You know, try, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, oh, shit, y'all. I'm thinking this thing is over with now. I'm like, oh, well, he got him now. Yeah, he got him. And, and, and Khan, it was basically the speed of Khan. Because when I saw it, it looked like it, it, the, the punches, you know, Vargas didn't see coming. And not that Vargas is some kind of good fighter. He's not. And he don't have a good defense. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, um, second round. You know, um, uh, Khan knocks Vargas down again. Man, my bad. He, man, my bad. He knocks him down. Yeah, yeah, my bad. He knocked, yeah, I'm trying to get it right in my head, y'all, because, you know, I just finished watching this. But, yeah, he knocks him down. Yeah, two minutes, 30 seconds left. And then, uh, you know, Vargas is holding on for dear life, you know what I'm saying? At least he's trying to. And um, Khan throws him. You know, like, get off of me, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and he broke, um, Khan broke Vargas' nose because, you know, I mean, you, you can just tell, man. You know where the nose look. It looks like sort of like a half moon. You know what I'm saying? Because he ain't come in there like. But anyway, y'all know what I'm talking about. When you get that little big old bulge right there. Then it starts bleeding, you know, from that part of the nose. And also from inside the, inside, inside the nostrils. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, you know. <laughs> you, you know, check this out, man. So, you know, around 50 seconds left also. You know, um, Vargas got knocked down again. You know, I'm like, oh, man. So, I'm thinking, the third round, you know, I mean, my bad. Not Vargas. Um, um, Vargas puts down um, Khan at the end of the round. My bad. If it, like, like 50 seconds left. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, yo, oh, man, he got his ass. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, uh-oh. You know, the whole, the, whole, the whole fight just changed from right there. Because... On the on the um the third the third when the third round came, Khan looked shook, man. He was on his bicycle. You know what I'm saying? And and the ref was giving he gave Khan a break about one forty five in there too. You like, yeah, hey, uh, check it out. Look at try to give him a breather. You know what I'm saying? And then um Khan also was hitting Vargas in back of the head a lot, man. When I say a lot, I'm like, golly, bruh. I mean, the, the ref, he wasn't really calling it, but it also has something to do with how Vargas' style was and how he, like, I talk about this with a lot of fighters, they duck down when they're trying to dodge, you know, a, a punch, and when the guy swings, 
you know, I mean, his hand and his his arm is longer than yours, and he he has you timed. But at that particular time, the the, the damn timing is off. So wherever he hit, he hit because you're moving out of the way of the punch, but into the way of the back side of the punch, which is going to catch you on the back of the head. You know what I'm saying? But, um, you know, fourth round, you know, v Vargas was hurt from a body shot. You know, he, I, I thought that Khan was going to take this guy out, but he couldn't because he kept getting rocked, man. I mean, he was getting rocked. At, I mean, just... He he could not take the hits, and he says at the at the end of the fight he's like um well when it, when he talked he was like um well uh you know I want to fight Pacquiao you know because you know the, the commentators asking him he's like well who you think you want to fight next Kell Brook do you think you'll fight Kell Brook oh no Pacquiao and, and I'm paraphrasing here y'all he's like no Pac basically Pacquiao was number one on his radio on on his radar you know what I'm saying if he can't get the Pacquiao then he'll take Kell Brook. So basically, he's still running from Kell Brook. And tell you the truth, with this kind of performance he put on, he is not ready for Kell Brook. He is not ready for none none of those guys. Kell Brook would get him out of there, I would say, in the first round. And I'm being straight up honest. Because Kell Brook hits way harder than the Samuel Vargas. And he's way more accurate. You know what I'm saying? Yo, I, I, nah, I see why. And, and tell you... Like really, he don't. He ain't ready for Pacquiao neither. Man, Pacquiao would take. I give Pacquiao two to three rounds, maybe the fourth round. Ah, right, let's let, let's change that four to five rounds, because Pacquiao is not gonna look to take a chance. And then you know, if I'm correct, Lamir Khan is taller, so you know he's gonna have to figure this guy out. You know what I'm saying? I know Pacquiao, and then both of them has been knocked out, so I don't see either one of them coming in there. You know. With, with 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 real aggression at first, As, especially Amir Khan. Man, his chin is yo, dude. Chin yo yo, a feather. Just 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 drop a feather on it, and it's just glass jaw, man. Dude, Jesse Vargas was cracking him, man. Man, y'all had to see that shit, man. I was like, God damn, <laughs> the hell is he doing in there, man? I mean, but he was on his bicycle, man. From from that time, he got knocked. Hey, I mean, Jesse Vargas was wobbling, wobbling the shit out of him. And then he said he won Kell Brook. I mean, he won Pacquiao. Nah, he said. And then, then he's talking about he's ready for the elites. This and, and then he gave the 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 typical cop the the, the 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 um the typical cop out. Talking about uh yeah well you know I wanted to get the rounds in I could have got him I could have got him out at you know earlier this that and the third. I'm like, yeah, right, whatever, man. Every time he tried to do something, man, Vargas cracked his ass, man, or punched him somewhere, and it went right back on that bicycle. He was basically sticking and moving. He knew that the only way he was going to win is by points. And that's the only way he's going to win that. You know what I'm saying? And and check this out. I'm sorry, man. I got a question, Mr. Amir Khan, and to all you Amir Khan fans. Do you really think that uh, he can put on a better performance than he did today against uh, Samuel Vargas? <laughs> against a Kell Brook? Nah, I don't think so, y'all. I mean, Kell Brook can cut off the ring, man. Kell Brook knows how to fight. Yo, Amir Khan, I'm sorry. You ain't ready for Pacquiao or Kell Brook because either one of them will bust your ass, man. Oh, I'm sorry. Anyway, I just wanted to give y'all a little something, something on that fight. Old Man Boxing, signing out. Peace.